Hello again, it's, it's Mark from Shutting Me Beautiful. Uh, I just thought I'd very quickly follow up the video that I put on last week uh, with a quick video on sunshine bays, curved bays. Because uh, one of the questions that get, gets asked a lot and got asked last week uh, by Gemma in the, in the, in the, in the post, in one of the questions, was how do the panels operate on a curved bay? You know, you know stuff like that. So. I just, just thought I'd very quickly go through it, quite simply, uh, I always sort of say to people, uh, the best looking shutters tend to, where possible, follow whatever main frame that they're working with, they're, they're sitting on. So, on a five panel bay like this, uh, you can get a four panel bay, you can get a six or a seven panel bay, uh, but generally, quite often the five panel bays. So on a five panel bay like this, uh, you get five individual shutter frames in line with the existing uh, window frames. Uh, so I'll just very quickly demonstrate. Here you've got the five panels, you've got the five shutters that, that hinge off their own framework. So on the left, as you're looking at it, I think on my right, uh, this panel will hinge off its own uh, framework like that. This one will then hinge off its own framework like so, so they don't bifold. They don't bifold reverse round uh, a, a curved bay. It's, it, just, it just can't be done. So that's, it is a restriction, but it's one of those things. If you want the look, that's what you've got to unfortunately uh, put up with. But you've, you know, allows access to clean the glass or open a window. Uh, it's just one of those things. It gets done all the time. It's not unusual. Uh, whenever I put uh, or see a mid rail within a window, I match it up where I can with a mid rail within the shutter frames, again, like I say, best looking shutters tend to uh, work and match up with uh, the, the window frame they're sitting on. Okay, I just thought it's worthwhile putting a little post on about that. Alright, cheers, bye.